Good evening guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to be taking the engine out of my van ready for a PD, get a bit of power in this thing. Um, me and Liam have got this little unit so we're going to be doing a bit of filming in here and somewhere to be dry while we're working on the vans and maybe to do a bit of carpentry in but <laughs> Some, sometimes. Um, so we've got my van, we're going to take the engine out of that today and we're going to just take you along um, for the ride of us trying to, fit. trying to fit a PD in that. This is no how to, but hopefully you might be able to get some good info out of it. But, elephant in the room, buds. <laughs> yeah. You've got no engine. What's happened? Uh, I had a crash with a cat side. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Liam's hit a cat side so hard that it sent his gearbox plug at the bottom, the drain plug, up through the gearbox, writing that completely off. And here on the engine, it's ripped the top bolt mount off there, cracked that one, snapped a bolt in that one, and cracked the one behind there. So the bottom of the block is completely written off as well. A very expensive day for you, sir. It was, yeah. Don't do it. But onto a lighter note, <laughs> let's rip my engine out. Let's Make you feel better. Let's do it, Matthew. I'm going to put you on the tripod, oh shit, hello. I'm going to put you on the tripod and just get tearing into it, I suppose. Right. Drive shafts are off, front of the van's off, taking the electrics out, intercoolers off. I literally only put new injector seals in this last week. Got it running an absolute dream. We used it all week while the work van was broke. Now we're stripping the engine out. So fingers crossed that work van doesn't break again or we're royally fucked. Because all the vehicles are here. We'll be tandem in the motorbike, Liam. Brilliant. <laughs> you love it on the back of there. No. <laughs> right, phase two. That's the engine out. I think the camera ran out of battery just as we were pulling it out. So hopefully we got it on film, but engine's out, just getting the rest of the wiring loom out. So that's off to the new owner. Decent little engine to be fair. It's done me so good in the last four years. Um, never really had any problems with it. It's been great. So yeah, that's up to him to put that in now. So that'll be good. And then just the rest of the parts I've thrown up on the top over there deal with them at some point so clean it up bigger chassis notch maybe a subframe raise let's get that thing a little bit lower other than that just carry on clearing it out now sweet right then now the engine's out I want to have a little tear down into it get the subframe off see if I need to make my notches any bigger we're gonna modify that subframe get that up a little bit further and uh, yeah, while it's out, tidy up the whole engine bay, get my diesel heater fitted a lot nicer because I did it while the engine was in. Just tidy that mess up really. Engine's down there all packaged up, 
ready to go off to the new owner and my PD is on its way. So yeah, let's get into it. Woohoo. You know it's a fucking blast. I didn't realize the uh, camera ran out of battery, but we've got the subframe out. So you've got to drop the fuel tank, obviously undo the brake lines, get my hydro lines out of the way, disconnect the, the steering rack and the uh, power steering pipes. And then we've pulled that out. So the plan is, George's got a subframe jig. So we're gonna make some new six mil top plates, try and drop this 30 mil shave all this top off and hopefully we won't have to touch the cab then and uh yeah get this subframe a bit lower and get it back on it is full of crap right then i am bloody oily now um liam's just helped me lift the subframe up onto the bench so i'm going to show you what i'm going to attempt to do so when i've got the jig off jawed we will be using this plate here and making new mounts lower down i'm going to do it 30 mil on this and then this part the top where the top arms go i might have to notch into the cab of the van but what i'm going to do is just take this lip off all the way along and then weld it back in just so if i don't have to cut the floor i won't but i probably will anyway for joint future proof so i'm going to cut that off and then i will do these probably tomorrow Right then, the uh, batteries ran out last night, so I'm back today, charged batteries, and I'll show you what I got up to yesterday. So this is the subframe here, and what you usually have are these bits on top there. I've cut this off, I've cut 30 mil out of this, and then I was left with the bare top, and then I've notched a piece of box section along the back and put some gussets in and welded that on. So hopefully this shouldn't foul the floor of the van. I should only have to notch for this small bump in the top arm. So today we are, if you can see the mark, gonna cut 30 mil out of the subframe mounts to raise that subframe off the floor. And luckily our good man Jord has made a jig. Ugh. So I can cut that out and hopefully weld all the mounts back in the right place. So I'm gonna get this done, get that welded up, go over to the van, because I've got to notch my steering arms deeper, and then we'll bolt this up, and hopefully, that should be all the fabrication I should need to do. Right then, before I go too far, I better explain how I'm doing it. This is no professional approach, but how I think would be best for me to do it. A 30 mil piece of wood, and I've gone round all the top with a sharpie and drawn a line all the way around, so that should be even on all four mounts. And then I've got some big six mil plate, marked the holes and drilled those, so then these will sit down where that goes and get welded on with some strengthening gussets on the side. And then how I think I'm gonna do it, is mount these to the subframe jig and put the subframe jig in the standard holes at the front and hopefully, do you mean, get that where I want it and tack these on and then cut the front and do that so I'm not trying to align all four at once. I can do two and then two. Hopefully that works, but um, there's only one way to find out. I'm in uncharted territory here, but let's keep going.
Right then, that's all the cutting done. I'll show you how far I've got. So you can see I've cut off the original mounts now. There, there, there and there. We've got top right. So we've got that mount, which will sit on there. This one will sit on here. Likewise on the other side. I'll get that all in, get all this in the jig, tack it all up, take the jig off and weld it inside and out to all of those points. And hopefully it fits on the van. I mean, I don't know if this is the right way to do it. I've had a word with a few people, Jack Matzel, Jord, um, and this is the way they're doing it. So I'm kind of following. The only difference is they're both welders. I screw stuff together for a living, but let's see if it fits. That's the subframe welded up. I'm just gonna let that paint dry and then check it on the jig again. But I did keep the jig on for most of the welding. Uh, let me show you a bit closer. So there you have it. They're welded in there and up inside there all the way round. So yeah, that is hopefully one raised subframe. So next. I'm gonna take you over there. We're gonna cut my steering arm notches because I've just got like, it, it's just tapered up a bit. It's never been deep enough. So we're gonna cut them a bit deeper, bolt it back on, hopefully put the wheels back on and lower the van and just see um, if it catches my chassis notch because I'm hoping that I don't have to redo that. So yeah, let's get into it. Right then, so like we did George, I've got a nice bit of box section, cut the bottom off. That's my old one there. You can see I've just angled it up, which was perfectly fine until I've got to raise the subframe. So I'm gonna go 50 mil. So I've just marked around that. I'm gonna cut that out, weld these both in, both sides, and then see if it fits. So I didn't film doing it all because uh, I wanted to crack on with it and we do have a chassis notch and a steering arm notch video already on our YouTube channel so I'll put a link to that down the bottom. So that's those done. So all it is to do now, put that fuel tank back up in, put the subframe in, bolt it up. I might have to cut out the floor for the upper arms yet, I don't know about that. But I want to get it up in, test fit it and hopefully put the wheels on and see how low it goes. Don't hold me to that though. So let's crack on. So the subframe's back on. There it is, up and so there you can see how much clearance I've got underneath now. So all I've got to do is these, these top arms arc up, as you can see them down there. So they're actually hitting the floor. So I've got to cut a bit of the floor out and make some small tubs inside the cab. Then that should allow the subframe to sit on the floor, which will be awesome. Oh, I can't wait. So I'll leave that till tomorrow night. So um, yeah, check back in then. It is now Friday evening and we've got the van down. It wasn't the things I said holding it up. It was actually the rams there at full compression, whatever you call it. So I've taken those off for now and look how low it is. We've got it sitting 
down really good. But the subframe is still 30 mil off the ground. So I called Dennis at Slambaster, just told him what I've done and why it won't go down anymore. And he said, I'll be there in a bit. So he's loaded up his slammed crafter, which is awesome. I'm gonna to have to get that on film when he gets here. Uh, and he's come in to chop my chassis up. So hopefully tonight we will be down 50 million total from where it was before, which when you get in this low is a huge number. So I am absolutely buzzing. Are you buzzing, Liam? Yeah. Awesome. So let's wait for him to get here in his little, in the little silver slug. slug. The slug. slug. Should we play with RC crawlers for a minute? Yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Yeah, here it is. Look at it. Oh my god. <laughs> Easy. Alright, right, man. Where'd you want it? There. That's oh, incredible. I'm wearing 40 my So Dennis has just turned up in the incredible silver slug. That thing is insane. Jumped straight to work, cutting into the van. We have got some deep notches. So we've gone another 30 mil on what I've already have. So we're gonna be around 70, 75 mil. Um, I'll take you in and show you, but you're not gonna hear a lot. So I'll just point the camera around and then we all know Dens is a bit shit on camera, so I'm trying to sneakily film him, but let's get back in there. So gonna be a late one. So, if you can still hear me. There are our notches there. We're gonna plate that all up with some big 8 mil plate and then make some strengthening gussets to go across here. Because even though the chassis comes up inside, this will be our weak point. So we'll get going. There, guys. So, right, that's Dennis, he's gone really shy so i didn't get the camera out too much because it's half 12 now and it's friday and he's got work tomorrow he's got a two and a half hour drive home so a massive massive thank you to slam Basta for coming out and helping me you need to check this out it's fucking good isn't it it's fucking sick. so i've bunged it on a rotor form just to see what that was like and it goes lower on the 17 inch wellers but even with the rotor form on it tucks so hard. So we threw the book from bumper on just to check. Look at that. I'm literally so excited. I cannot wait to get this back on the road now. I'll be able to drive it about 10 mil higher than that. So you'll be, oh, you, you won't even see like the spokes. They'll just be getting lost up in there. So yeah, right. Fuck tidying up, should we just go? Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <sighs> Right guys, until the next time. So we're gonna film next week, we're gonna film us going to get the PD and we yeah. getting that back and we'll just throw it in there and mock it up. So until the next one guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and all that jazz. See you later.